of the most recognizable, I think it's fair to say, adult film stars of the last decade, maybe the last couple decades. I think that is fair to say. And they happen to live here in Las Vegas. We've had Evan Stone on the show before. And Evan Stone joins us in studio along with the very beautiful Katie Morgan. Hello. Thank, thank you so much. You look very beautiful today, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank I, you. I was talking oh, to yeah. Evan. Of course. I thought so, yeah. <laughs> I think he brushed his hair just for you. Well, I'm glad you guys made it in yeah, studio. I, we, I can see that, that that's definitely the case. We have, <laughs> we have a lot to get to in the next hour. And I was just talking, we were just talking a little off the air about Michael Avenatti, who you guys, of course, know represented Stormy Daniels for a while. And now Stormy Daniels is suing Michael Avenatti. What do you guys think about that? Because, you, Evan, you've worked with her before, right? Oh, yeah, but, yeah. I mean, uh, he should give me a book deal. I mean, I'd give him half. Easy. <laughs> I don't even have to sue him. Yeah, I just have it. What do you right? What do you think about that? Does that bother you that, that you know, she got all this publicity, you know, no. for all this stuff? Okay, you know, honestly, and I don't know Stormy well personally, but I've certainly known mm. her uh, in work life. We've gotten right. the business around the same time. We actually have the same birthday. We, oh, wow, that's good. Yeah, like we know a lot of people in common. I I feel bad for her that all of this happened. Truly, like yeah. I, it never occurred to me that I might know the next Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> so like that's kind of bizarre to see that happen to somebody like that you know in life. Right, right. It's weird. Of it's course. Weird. So Evan um, gave me yeah. his story last time he came on about uh, how he was like a Chippendale dancer and he sure. got his big break in the business. Uh, he was like an extra just waiting, right? Evan, I don't want to misquote you here. And then you got your opportunity. The director said, come on, let's go. And that's literally how you got started. Yeah. And boom, you've made millions of dollars and, you know, you've done thousands and thousands of scenes. So, Katie, yeah. you have a, a different story, right? <laughs> yeah, mine was a little different. I, I never did dance before. An awfully lot of porn stars started in like the yeah. the dancing mm. sexiness arena where you're naked in public already mm -hmm. but i did not um, i was a pet store manager and i was helping out a friend who got in some trouble trying to pay the bills and i ended up importing some weed from mexico <laughs> and they didn't like that um mexico was mad america was mad <laughs> i got a federal felony i went to jail i had an all long were you in jail fines. for um well the the first time I was in for a week because I managed to do it over a holiday weekend. So that was fun. Oh, jeez. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then I was out and I was fighting my case. And mm. then when I got sentenced, I ended up after everything serving. And how old are you when this is going on? 19. You're 19. Well, no, uh, I guess uh, 20, right? Because I turned 21 right before okay. I turned myself in. So you're 20 years old, not yeah. even old enough to have a, a drink of alcohol no, yet. No, no. And you're in all this trouble. You're you, you're trying to make bail uh, with this plea bargain. You're trying to come up with some money. Yeah. And, you, and what, you know, usually when people are looking for money, most people, they say, well, you know what? I think I want to get into the porn industry. What made you <laughs> What made you decide to do that? What, was, why? Well, it was a few, a few different factors kind of helped the situation. I was um, bored and horny and broke. <laughs> um, and Sounds I'm, like me every day. Sure. And I was literally, because I, I couldn't work. I was out on bail. Nobody's going to hire me while I'm, like, fighting a federal felony case. Right. So I had no money, and I was literally just laying around all day watching VHS pornos, <laughs> dating myself a little bit there. And then you said, I can do this. It literally occurred to me like a lightning, like a light bulb turning on, like, oh, my God, that's their job. Like, that looks like fun. I want to do that. And then I pursued it. Is it fair to say that if you didn't get caught with this weed, you might have not made millions of dollars in the porn industry? Is that a fair statement? I, I, you could say the might. Yeah. However, we were already swinging and stuff. Okay. Um, by the time that I got arrested. Mm -hmm. So we were already quite open sexually. And by we, I mean me and my husband at the time. I was 18 time. and right. got married. Speaking of husbands, yeah. I do want to yeah. talk about this. And forgive me if I'm getting a little <laughs> bit too personal here. But you two guys make a great couple. And Aww. I don't know if people know that. You guys have been dating each other for a little while, right? Several years. Yes, it a goes long so time. Fast. You guys live together in Las Vegas. Yes. Yet you are still married. I mean, Explain that to me. Just what? legally. What? <laughs> What? No, but to normal people. Okay, I'm thinking, guys, guys, I'm thinking my worst nightmare. I'm married to a, a beautiful woman like like yourself. Right. And all of a sudden, Evan Stone shows up, a guy who's done <laughs> thousands and thousands of sex scenes. And my <laughs> wife and my wife is like, you know what? I think I also want to have a relationship with Evan Stone. That would be my worst nightmare. I think I would kill myself. Um, I'm just being honest with you. I mean, and I'm not even an, a really insecure guy, but I sure. literally would kill myself. So your husband, I mean, how does that conversation go? Explain to me the first conversation you have with your husband at the time. And I'm sure the situation has changed now. But back then, oh, where no. you say, hey, I want to live with We had with already Evan broke up. That so you broke up, but you're still married. Yeah, okay. there was never right. anything legal. I was going to say. That's <laughs> yeah, he just, he went away. I haven't heard from him in ages. 
like we we wanted to go our separate ways, but we just never did anything legal. But we're very much broke up. So she, she so put a wall knows. up in her house. We built Literally, a wall. It uh, got bad. To divide the house in half. What do you mean you build a wall? Well, so he's still living there and back for bathroom, a little while that happened. You actually built for, like, a, that's how bad the relationship up Brady was. Bunch stuff. Well, okay, because it, it became a thing where we decided we could not cohabitate. We did not want to see each other or speak to each other. However, wow. I did not want to divide the assets in the way of selling the house. And so the answer we came to was to physically split the house in half. He did got Mexico the back, did Mexico the pay for that wall? No, Canada no, okay. did. It no, was did. Canadian okay. maple, ironically, because I married a Canadian. Which does he know? About that. Does he know that you're in a relationship now with Evan? Of course, because I was in the relationship <laughs> with Evan before he ever finally got his ass out of my house. Wow, that is, yeah. that is unbelievable. It's a thing. It was a whole. It was a weird year. Wow, JD, yeah. that makes my relationships look a little more normal. I don't know. And That's you've crazy. had some completely insane relationships. I have. I've had quite a few. Well, in, I have. In fairness to Evan and yeah. I, as as yes. together type people, I mean, we've been having sex on camera for like 19 years. That's a long time. It's a long time. Let's talk about that. Let's yeah. dive or a little deeper years. into that. Sorry. Now, I'm going to say this term years. a lot to the average, maybe boring person like myself. I don't know. Sure. If I'm with somebody, a girl... Hopefully. Uh, and Whatever is floats your boat. Right, Max. exactly. No judgment. And she's on camera having sex with other men. That would probably bother me. J.D., am I wrong in, in, in assuming that, that you would feel the same way? I wouldn't be all for that, no. Yeah, yeah. So Most men aren't. That, so that, that if you're in a, a difficult thing. And I, I was in a relationship that was open poly. I tried it, and I hated it. I didn't sure. like it. So explain to me, I want to get in both your heads here, how you're able to not only accept it, but enjoy it. Because some people, right, enjoy seeing their partners with other people. Sure. Right? Uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, we do, like, orgies and stuff. <laughs> like, we, we do in, enjoy all of that. We're, so you do that yeah. not, not getting paid to. You do no. it because you enjoy it. Yeah. Although, you know, it's really hard to throw an orgy. Oh, God. We had a surprisingly <laughs> difficult time. Well, because here's the thing. We decided that in order for it to be an orgy and not a group, yes, it needed to be at least four girls and at least three guys. And we could never get past. Why don't you uh, call my co-host? He'll, he'll join you. We could never get the numbers right, <laughs> right? It was always just. The numbers were a little askew. We were always only like two guys and three girls. No, but, it but, just wasn't quite. But, you're, but you guys have been doing this for so long yeah. on camera. I'm not yeah. saying you stop enjoying sex. That's not what I'm saying. But, but it sounds to me like it's no different than what you're doing on camera, right? Well. In a way. Except for the positions. And you're not faking it. Like how- well, I mean, I don't fake it that much on camera. When the guy says, okay, now you orgasm, that's when I <laughs> right, fake it. I understand. But other than that, like, I, I get mine. That's part of right. what I like about my job. I find that fascinating, yeah. though. I find that fascinating. Though. So there's two different types of people, right? There's the type of people that are exhibitionists that enjoy when there's other people around and cameras and stuff. Then there's people like me and most of the women that, I'm, you know, say, turn the lights off. I want it dark. You know, I mean, there's two there's two sure. different types of people, right? Sure. So, well, I mean, there's way more types than that, but those are two of the sure, types. Sure, sure. Yes. So the first time both of you, uh, Evan, were, 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 you know, your first scene didn't bother you at all. Didn't wasn't a little, wasn't a little awkward to you that there's cameras everywhere and there's men in there and there's directors and producers and sound people. You're telling me it, it just came natural to both of you and, and it didn't bother you at all the first time you did it. I I liked it. It was wow. like it was like super voyeuristic because, like I said, when when I was in college, yeah, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, mm-hmm. swinging with like a group of friends, yeah. I liked people watching. Mm-hmm. I liked having people around while we were all having sex. Like mm-hmm. it was a, it was a thing. Like it was yeah. something I was into. So the first time I was on camera, and I had said to myself when I started, I was like, just do this for a minute and get a little bit of money, and no one will mm-hmm. ever have to know. Mm-hmm. The first time I shot one, I was like, oh, I really like this, and then I just kept going. So in a way, it kind of gets you off, so to speak. Definitely. Uh, that that the fact that there are people watching and that there's cameras there. Beyond and, that, and you the have fact so that many fans. all the people are going to be watching. That's right. Yeah, that, that's it's hot. That's a powerful feeling, it I is. would imagine. Right, Evan, is it the same for you? I don't know. I've never looked beyond the girl. Is this the other stuff going on? <laughs> I hear the director like, hey, I can't see anything. Move. <laughs> A That's lot. Not I heard that a lot. It, it's perfectly fine to have tunnel vision <laughs> in that situation. But isn't that awkward? I mean, you're you're with a woman in an intimate moment, and and you have a director telling you to move or to to to, to whatever the case may be. That's not weird for you. Well, no. I mean, there's been situations where there's been awkward appendages in the way of a camera shot, and the <laughs> grip or uh, best boy lighting people would just kind of move it with a stick, <laughs> so they get that up and under shot. That's, that's just unbelievable. If you're just joining yeah. us, Katie yeah. Morgan and Evan Stone uh, in studio, who are locals here in Las Vegas. By the way, how long have you guys been living here? Oh, well, he you've only been out here, what, a year, year, uh, 
Just o- mm-hmm. under just over a year. Yeah. Yeah. A year and a bit. Just long enough to get a, a gun safe, a bunch of guns, and a legal carry. There are no guns. Yeah. I'm a felon. Yeah. Oh. Have, you a been married? Have, you hey, you Have you ever been married? Have you ever been married? You want to buy a gun safe and some guns? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been married before, by the way? Yeah, Jessica Drake. A, a, a duh. That's right. No, no other no other marriages. No. But that's it. No. So do you guys see yourselves ever getting married again, both of you? Oh, God, I'd never marry Jessica Drake again. I, I don't know. <laughs> Not Jessica. It hasn't turned out well either time. By the way, Jessica yeah. claims that she was sexually assaulted by Donald Trump as well. Oh, my God, me too. Yeah. Who hasn't oh, been sexually oh assaulted by Donald I, Trump? I, I haven't been. I was in, I've I never was met in... the man. <laughs> if, you, if you met, if Donald Trump met Katie 10 years ago, what do you think would have happened? I'm asking you. What do you think would have happened? <laughs> do I think that Donald Trump would have sexually assaulted Katie Morgan? No, but do you think that he would have hit on her and would have done everything he could to get to get with with Katie? Absolutely. That, yeah. Absolutely. No, no question about it. Hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. There you go. It could have been me, man. It could have been. <laughs> it me. definitely could have. Have you ever talked to your ex about that experience or no with Donald Trump? Oh no, no. I she mean, never, all this stuff never, never, it never, it never came up during our relationship, and then it happened afterwards. And I wasn't going to call her up. Hey. What's going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Evan, Brian, well, the way, Brian asked you to ask us some very interesting questions on the red carpet. Yeah, the AV, I got her the upset. I, oh, I, no. Oh, that's so easy to do. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> she act- know, she actually nice, said, <laughs> she said verbatim, this interview is over. Well, I asked her some very um, intimate questions about Donald Trump, uh, uh, things that I really can't say on the radio. I but, could see her but, walking away from that. I asked her I some might. sexual, about that <laughs> sexual experience that she claims she have I, I asked her some graphic questions and she didn't want to answer them and that's fine but again we're on the avn red carpet you know what i mean sure. it's not like it's not like it's you know i'm to talking be, to her on the what street what are you now. up for not tell me where he touched you i did i true I, <laughs> true but I'm, I'm a jerk sometimes you know but Fair but, but you know that's the one red carpet where i think you could ask some really ridiculous questions and i do that that's the sure. one element where i can really do you know do that sort of thing and she didn't like it and i'm, I'm sorry if i offended her well she could have just just dismissed you with something jovial <laughs> that's true i guess sure i, I suppose it's I, all I, in I, the handling so to speak i suppose so yeah. now you know years later you know when you guys look back at your careers and you retired for a little while when you got married correct i mean technically at this point now i call it a hiatus because I came Why back. did you do that? Why did you decide to to stop in the industry when you got married? Um, for a couple different reasons. It wasn't actually when I got married. I stopped oh, okay. a little bit before that. Okay. Um, I I did catch monogamy, where I only wanted to have sex with that one person. And, is and that, I had, was that your husband that kind of pushed you to do that? No, I. It, it, You've been in love, in lust, in the moment with that person. Where right. when I went to have sex with other people, I had liked having sex with before. It just wasn't as fun. I just wanted to be with him at that point. I think that's a pretty Before normal response. Before things went wrong. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. just gross. <laughs> totally. <laughs> for I, I, for I, one never... time. And that's, this is like the only time in my life that I've had this right. problem. I, I've never heard the term catch a monogamy before. Yeah, it wore off, thankfully. How so long that, did that last? Okay. Uh, yeah. Like five years. Well, it lasted three years happily. And then two more years where I was kind of committed to just doing and it because I said I was going to. kind gonna. of force yourself to do it? Yeah. And yeah. then I was done with that. So you, you fall in love. You get married. You decide to be with one person. Right. Then you think the lust just went away. No. Then everything went to holy H and we started screaming and cussing at each other. <laughs> and then you build a wall in your we house. We broke a few doors. <laughs> we put up a wall. Yeah. It just, it went really I, bad. I, I, are we manage. talking like perfectly symmetrical down the middle? <laughs> Yeah, pretty uh, much. Square footage a, wise, pretty yeah, dense. Pretty much. There's a master hallway that goes in the, and there's two kitchens. The back. And so they pretty much they just put a wall. I mean, there's two kitchens and two right master suites, hallway. and we each took one. I can I've heard of some bad relationships, but that's that's pretty bad when you this have to one build took a the wall. Cake. You yeah. have to build a wall in your house. So you haven't talked to him in years. You, no, no, not years. You seem. Okay. I haven't talked to him in almost a year. Almost a year. Yeah. Okay, so that's not that. He's long. been gone for just over a year. And you're not legally divorced yet. Not yet. Does but he have a lot of money? No, he won't send me an address to send papers. He won't tell me where he is. What did he? What does he do for a living? Well, at the moment, nothing. But previously, he was a children's television producer. Does he have money? No. Oh, so he's no. He, so is it, he could get some of your money then? Potentially. That's not. Good. I still want to end all of this. I'm so done. Listen, I think Evan should just find out where he lives and just kick hold his on, ass. No, no, no money? crimes. We tried crimes. <laughs> they went money? poorly. <laughs> what? You got money? No, not a lot. Let me explain what Thanks these two are. Thanks to the man, are. I'm still I, rebuilding my whole everything. Gotta love well, that man. Evan is wearing this uh, jacket. Uh, it's like an army <laughs> no, jacket. It's, it's called a bomber jacket. With Brian. his name on a bomber jacket. Yeah, a bomber I apologize. Jacket. It says Evan Stone right there. It's got an American flag uh, ESP on the back. Evan Stone production. Yes, and Katie right. Morgan is wearing a very beautiful <gasps> dress. Sick. Oh, thank you. Uh, and uh, I, I'm sorry, I've been looking at her a little more than you have. Then what are you wearing? It's the cleavage. <laughs> it's all right. That's what it's there for. <laughs> 
But what do you, okay, so what do you make of there's not a lot of people in the industry now that have not had some sort of how, how should I put this plastic surgery? Put it that way. Right? Sure. They're, well, right? I mean, I don't know if I'd say that. The the natural look is always very in, especially for young girl. So what advice like would when you're you talking give to eighteen somebody? to twenty four? You could they say don't you could get say the boobs. enhancements, right? Yeah, enhancements. Sure. Okay, okay. I don't have any enhancements. You can call it augmentation. Augmentation. Yes, right. that's yes. even a better term. So what would you say to a twenty year old that wants to get into the business right now that wants to kind of get those types of enhancements? What would you, what advice would you give to somebody like that if you could rewind time and you know what what would you say to somebody like that? Well, I mean, I waited four years. I mm-hmm. waited until it was kind of necessary for different reasons, which Mm -hmm. we can get into later. But what I would tell someone Mm -hmm. um, is that if you're good now, work the look, save it, because then you can give you longevity as you you, uh, change your look through the industry. You get another go, basically, at all of Mm -hmm. the same movies. Let's let's talk a little bit about money, okay? Sure. Because when you first get into this business, the misconception, and you tell me if I'm wrong by the public, is right away you're making tons of money. It's not like that. you got to work your way into it. So can you guys describe to me the money that you made when you first got into the industry for a scene and around the money that you make these days? No, I mean, it's different than that. It's not. It's really not that black and white. When, in two ways. When I first got into the business, it was crazy. It was like heyday. You too. They were shooting oh, yeah, so I made tons many of money movies. When I first got in. <laughs> People were shooting two scenes. He was, boys were shooting two or three scenes a day. I had a couple Jeez. double bookings on features where I went to another, just because so many people were shooting and the, mm-hmm. the talent pool hadn't, exploded at that point like right. there, there hadn't been quite as much mainstream coverage and we had just really gotten the handy cams and everything was blowing mm. up i got in in 2001 he got in in 99 you guys are, but but you, but you guys are, you guys are millionaires right no you're not a millionaire no although i've spent lots of money but you're no. one of the most recognizable people in the adult yeah. film business in the history of it yeah okay and you're telling me that you haven't made seven figures in the industry Oh, over over eighteen yeah. years, of course. But, but right now, do you're I not have a million dollars in my bank account? You Hell no. Oh, God, fair God. enough. <laughs> fair enough. Good lord. I've what about you, man? I've gone through a mail. There's no I didn't residuals on porn. Like you don't get paid later. <laughs> That's that. the problem. <laughs> so you don't go around. So and... it is kind of true that you just start making a ton of money, and even still now, for new girls, new hot girls that get in, yeah. will have a good run six months or even a year where they make yeah. bank. And, and you've been doing this for down. and you've been doing this for eighteen years. 18 Evan, years? you're how long for you? Uh, nine and a half. Twenty years. Wait, He's what are we bad talking at about? Math. Yeah. Twenty years. <laughs> so between the two of you, almost forty years in the business. Yeah. How much money do you think both of you have made in that four? Is he taking out cash oh, right now? God. Just, just fun stripper money. <laughs> I'm gonna guess you guys could have made up to ten million dollars for the both of you between your mm. careers. Is that fair? That might be a little high. Well, you made a lot. No, no, that might be fair. And so around made around the vicinity. Not, I mean, are you, guys, you guys just blew it on slot machines? Say, is that what happened? I would or? say <laughs> six or eight is more accurate, probably. And we're talking over twenty years. But yeah, I mean, we're you know we're paying the bills quite handily. You guys have done well. You've, you've sure. also, you've I also bought had, myself a house. You've had like, movie appearances, several yeah. several of those. I'm sure they, they paid pretty decently as well. Those do have residuals, as does HBO. Yes. Thank you to the mainstream. Biggest biggest movies that you've been in, uh, not adult film movies, but uh, uh, well, Zach and Mary. Right, yeah. of course. Zach of course, and Mary make of a course, that That's was, the big one. That's the big one. Yeah, yeah. everything that else. A, that was has a very been funny tiny. movie, by the way. Thank you. I, I love it, it. I but I'm it. so biased. Were, were you a little yeah. nervous? I mean, that's not an adult film, but that is a Hollywood movie that you knew was going to be in the theaters with a couple, you know, pretty big stars and yourself. Were you nervous walking onto that set? Where you actually have, you know, you're, yeah. you're acting? <laughs> I mean, well, no, and I and I was always about the acting. That's that's yeah. what I love about it. A lot of people in this business, especially now, it's very in vogue to say that you're a sex worker. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm right. a very slutty actress, always. Fair I enough. I like that part of it. I like making that movies, was... and I'm totally down to go all the way. So, did, did Zach hit on you? <laughs> <Off-site>. uh... <laughs> <laughs> he said no, but he seems like a, a pretty no, cool guy, he right? Didn't. Yeah, he was already with the girl he married at that point, oh, he was. and okay. so was Jason. Yeah, everybody was super cool. It was one of the best experiences of my life, other than the fact that it was actually winter. Did you ever run into Harvey Weinstein? Yeah, yes. it was actually winter. You yeah. have. I met Harvey Weinstein. I give did. Me, give, he okay, did not give me touch story. me. Give me the story, though. Yeah, it was just. Just a, hi, how are you doing? You're, Where did you meet him? You're great. Um, on the set. He came to one of the days he on set. Came? Yep. Okay. So he comes up to you and he just shakes your hand? At no. What? No. Kevin introduced him. Hi, this is Harvey. This he is Harvey your... Weinstein. What it was a Weinstein production. It was his movie. Right. That's why I asked you. So yeah. what, what did he say to you? Um, oh, gosh. What was the... He, he, said, he was just polite to me and said hi and everything. And then um, he said, was it Judy Holiday? is who he said I reminded him of. 
And that was it. It's an odd thing to say to a, yeah. to a very famous <laughs> porn star. That's what he said to me. It's a little me. creepy, actually. Ar- Ar- yeah. Ar- Ar- is one crazy dude. So that doesn't shock me at all. You I- tell me Seth yeah. Rogen didn't hit on you at all? No, not at all. Nothing wow. inappropriate no, at all. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm kind of disappointed to hear that. Remotely. <laughs> I'm actually yeah. kind of impressed by that. I- yeah. I'm disappointed. I wanted to hear a really good story where Seth Rogen touched you in a... No, I'm just kidding. No, just we kidding. hung out a lot, though. Seth, uh, cool Craig, guy. everybody on set. It was amazing. So cool. I got to see, I got to watch Pineapple Express with them when they got their screener. How cool! So that, is that was pretty awesome. That's a, that's a great yeah. movie. Yeah, that is, that is that is completely that is completely awesome. I it lo- was. I love that. That's great. Well, that must have been a really fun experience for you. That that made you officially Hollywood, right? Yeah. When you're in a movie like that, it was weird, but yeah. yeah, that was that was the big big. Because of what you guys do for a living, Evan, I might have already asked you this question, but famous celebrity stories, maybe people you don't like. I'm not asking you to trash people, but people that really hit on you. Like, like I would imagine in your career, Katie, you probably had some famous people come up to you with a lot of money that said, hey, what do I have to do to spend a night with you? Nothing like that? I, you know, I don't know if it's because of my stuff on HBO where people feel like they already know me, but I don't get the weird part of the fandom. I get the, oh my God, it's you, and they want to, like, give me a hug, and they want to tell me about their sex life. But, like... Even, like, guys, really, I mean, I've had a few people, like, Mm -hmm. ask me if I do privates, but I have never had anybody, like, really try and convince me, ever. When they they go up to you, they don't say it like that. Do they say, hey, can I get a private night with you? Like, are they respectful about it, or? It's almost always when I'm doing appearances at a strip club that that question comes up. (laughs) So, So, and I mean, fair enough, because a lot of girls that travel do, and again, no judgment. That's just not my bag. I'm not, I'm not a hugger. Right. Like, of it's not my thing. Right. No, but yeah. that's, that's actually, I'm pleasantly surprised to hear oh, that. Oh, thanks. So that's Evan, probably part of why I'm not a millionaire. So. <laughs> there you which, go. Which girls, Maybe you should have said yes a couple times. Right? No, <laughs> which girls do? <laughs> so, Evan, you told me this story about how you slept with an LPGA tour player. Right. And you don't have to give me the name. I know you don't want to do that. But how does that come about, right? You, you Somebody just comes up to you and says, hey, my friend, she's a professional golfer, and she wants to spend a night with you. And, I mean, how does that even... How does that even come about? Oh, uh, I was a stripper, and, and and we stripped at every club. It didn't matter if it was a gay bar, straight bar. You're male matter. stripping. Yeah, male stripping. And so yeah. we're dancing in this gay he bar, was a girl and then. this girl comes up, and she's like <laughs> really hot. And she goes, you know, hey, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing later? You know, you want to go with me? And, and I go, yeah. She goes, but it's not with me. It's with her. And she points to parts of the bar, and it's her girlfriend sitting there. The golfer, LPGA golfer. Yeah. Is she and, still a professional golfer? Right, right. And she said so she's never had, like, a man before. And Let's just assume it was Michelle Wee. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. Can I just fantasize? Never had a man before, and we want you to come over and do the thing, and then when it's over, we want you to leave. And then that's, that'd be it. Can I, can I ask you this? Is she still on the professional tour? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't watch golf anymore. He doesn't follow ladies' golf very no, much. Ever well, since I don't it, either, but yeah. there's a few that Ever are, since Trump know, never hit on me on the golf course, I just don't want to play. don't follow that. I'll tell you what I want to get into with you guys. You know, we'll take a break here in a minute, but I definitely want to get into a little bit of politics because that gets in the way a little bit of the porn industry. For example, right? And I, I guess I'll go back to Stormy Daniels. He calls her horse face, okay? And Which it's is horrible. Yeah, terrible. Yes. And, and the way he insults women, okay, yes. degrades also women. Also bad. He does it terrible. all the time, right? I, I, I certainly want to get to that with you guys as well. And I don't think a lot of people realize that you guys live in Las Vegas. You guys live here now. <laughs> Do you ever think that the industry will just move from L.A. to Vegas in general? No. You don't think? Why? Because it's Hollywood. It's the crews. A lot of the crews work both sides of the show, and the big companies are out there, and they still pull permits and shoot it like a real movie, and that's Hollywood. Interesting, because, I mean, this is turning into a huge sports town. You know that. You've been here for a yeah. while, and it's it, it's turning into, like, a real city, right? It's, it's not just exciting. about the Strip. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. And there's so many great things to do here away from the and, Strip. And, and so porn is bigger in Van Nuys or in Hollywood at this point? No, no. I mean, I, I, I call it North Hollywood. It's still in Chatsworth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we never actually said that. I didn't. Did I say when I moved here? We were talking about when he moved No, here. he's only been here a year. You've I've been, been here, here since 06. Yeah, yeah, I've so been, you've here been here like a, a long minute. Time. Yeah. Wow, a long time. Yeah. So you've seen this this city progress. Yeah. A lot. Have you been totally. to any of the Vegas Golden Knights games yet? Uh, no, games? I'm a little bit afraid of rambunctious large crowds. I would need some kind Wait, of VIP to second. slide in there. Hold on a second. You're afraid yeah. of rambunctious large crowds. Yeah, because well, people yeah. recognize me and then they want pictures and drunk hockey fans seem like a uh, scary place to do okay, that. Okay, now that that makes sense. But <laughs> yeah. you understand when I hear somebody like you say, I'm afraid of large crowds and yet 
you're filming a sex scene and only millions two and millions of people are watching. That's yeah. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't bother you at all. <laughs> no, that doesn't only two at a time. That doesn't. You understand though. I, I, I'm kind of sure. taken back to that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a quick break. We're here in studio by two, two, two probably the biggest names the last 20 years in the adult film industry, Evan Stone and Katie Morgan. I'm also gonna take some phone calls. So if you want to ask them either of them a question, give us a call two five seven five three nine six again seven zero two two five seven. 5396 is the number to call. Your chance to ask either of them or both of them a question. And we're going to get into a little bit of politics when we come back as well. I want to talk a little bit about uh, the political spectrum, their thoughts on that as well. We'll take a quick break. 